When you receive your intelligent hydraulic positioner, the ISP24 from Valve Controls, it is not configured. So the first thing you have to do is configure the unit so you can start controlling your hydraulic actuator. Now I'll show you how to configure the ISP24. All the units in the ISP24 is configured the same way. So I go into the menu and go down to the advanced menu. Then I go to configuration. In the configuration we have to set how we want the solenoid valves to act when we are opening, closing and stay put. So I press valve function and choose open. In this configuration valve number one and we have up to four valves we can control. Valve number one is on, valve two is off and three is and four is not used. Then we do the same for close. Valve number one is off, valve number two is on and not used. Then we configure the stay put. Here valve one and two is off and three and four is not used. Then we configure the valve function. Then we go and configure the position feedback. On the ISP24 you can use a three wire potentiometer or 4 to 20 milliamp signal. On this one we have a 3 bar potentiometer so I'll choose the position sensor. Then we go back and we ask OK to save changes and the changes will be saved. All configuration on the IHP is done the same way. Now the unit has been configured and we want to do a calibration. So we press calibrate and automatic calibration and OK. The unit will now do uh, automatic calibration. Now the unit has finished its calibration and we can start using it. First I'll tell it to go to 25%. We can see on the indicator on the actuator that it starts moving and it goes to 25%. Then we say 50. And then go to 100. the unit to go back to 50 and then go back to zero.